I think, I mean, the media sphere has changed completely over the past I don't know, 20 years. And Mota's no different. So kind of this, this idea of breaking down gatekeepers. Mm -hmm. So until a number of years ago, you had a number of media organizations which were trusted to a certain degree and people knew where to go for information that is either factual or is, even if it isn't factual because of Mota, for instance, we have party media, which is quite a big thing. At least you know what their biases are, and at least you know what their inclinations are, and you know where they're coming from. Now that has changed quite significantly. So you have a lot of um, the rise of citizen journalism, which is both a great thing but also a, a problematic issue. Um, you have a lot of people who, uh, even for instance, following the rise of COVID, who kind of rose that w uh, were riding that wave to broaden their appeal and to become some sort of kind of news source or some information source. And there is no kind of verification process in terms of what, uh, what they publish and what they, uh, what they write. Um, and it's kind of changed the way media ethics has worked uh, as a whole. So I don't think we can really talk about media ethics the way we used to 20 years ago, where you have an editor and you have, uh, you know, you have these quite clear boundaries between what is newsworthy and what isn't, what is relevant and what isn't, what is factual and what isn't. Uh, and that's become a bit of a blur. So I think all these changes have, have made it far more difficult for, uh, for people working within roles such as my own to, to kind of verify what is true, what isn't true. Mm -hmm because there's a lot of grain between. So kind of that's one of the biggest challenges I see.